So for skimming, you will need a stainless steel trowel, a hawk or handboard, finished plaster, a clean bucket, a hop up, a spot and stand, and an electric mixer. First things first, you need to measure your wall to find out exactly how much plaster you will need. Check the bag to find out the manufacturer's instructions for exactly how much water to powder ratio you will need. My top tip would be to add the powder to the water and not the other way around. Using an electrical mix or mixing wheel, mix the plaster until you reach a consistency similar to double cream, so it has some thickness to it. But it is not too runny or too thick, only mix the amount you wish to apply. Transfer some of your plaster to your spot board and stand. When you're putting your first bit of plaster onto your handboard, um, it's good practice just to make sure there's no additional water on there so it doesn't fall off. And I do this by wiping the plaster over the board and using your trowel, apply the plaster to the wall to the recommended thickness stated on the plaster packaging. Here we are applying a 2mm skin. Always start plastering at the top of the wall and work across the wall, returning to your starting position when you reach the end of the wall. If you are right handed, start at the left hand side. If you are left handed, start at the right hand side. You've got around a 40 minute window with your fresh material, so make sure you don't try and tackle too much in one go. Once you've started a wall, you can't part complete it in the recommended time frame given by the manufacturer's instructions. You can't come back tomorrow to finish it. So you know when to apply your second coat. It is recommended that you can do a touch test. This will show the plaster will still not be too wet or too firm to apply your next coat. Now that the wall is ready for its second coat, I'm just going to go over the surface with my trowel to flatten out some of the big lines. When your wall's ready for the second coat, mix up a fresh batch of plaster, making sure once again you've got clean water and clean tools. So this is the final stage. We're gonna close in the wall. This is a very similar process to what we did after the first coat. So once again, using the trowel, we're gonna smooth out the lines. We're gonna repeat this process three or four times in roughly 15 minute intervals. For the final stage, we are now going to clean our internal corners and we're also going to flatten the wall one last time. And there we have it, one wall plasterboarded and skimmed. And remember, always clean your tools ready for the next job.